Hello, fabulous Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of February 2015. Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What a lovely month for you. We have in the context of love, that's largely because of Venus. Venus moving through a part of the sky for you that has to do with love, with romance, with the feelings that love provides, with feeling alive on a level of body, thanks to what's happening on a level of heart. Venus, right out of the gate, actually, depending on where you are on the planet, either just as January ends or just as February begins, connects with Neptune, meets Neptune in the sky. You are starting the month with an energy of belief in soulmates. This is soulmate energy. This is believing that great things are possible, believing in the fairy tale, believing in miracles where it comes to love. And just nurturing that belief certainly can make some really miraculous turnarounds available to you, especially where it comes to um, people that you're dating or someone that you may be dating. And so there seems to be a lot of really um, an energy there that's hopeful, that's romantic. If you're dating somebody, you're feeling uh, that much more inspired <laughs> by this connection. If you're open to meeting somebody new, uh, this is also connecting with somebody, flirting with somebody who really sparks your imagination, makes you believe that great things could be possible. And those of you in an established bond may find as you enter the month, a time when you're sharing a sense of romance and idealism for how much greater your lives can be together. And as we progress into the month, as we approach around the middle of the month, right around the 10th, Venus will speak in harmony with Pluto. And I just love this for you so much, partly because Pluto is your ruling planet um, and making this conversation that much more meaningful to you, but also because when Venus and Pluto speak, it always brings about really sensual moments, uh, moments that have an impact, that are remembered, that aren't the kind necessarily that you're just gonna uh, you know, have in that moment and then that's it, but rather they bring about moments that you hold and you contemplate and really have the power to transform you, not only then, but for a very long time to come. So those of you who are um, in an established bond, it does look like as you're approaching the middle of the month, you're set to have some key conversations, interactions with the person that you care about, thinking about what love means to the two of you, thinking about what it is that you'd like to do together next, whether it's if you're with somebody in a committed bond, there may be some conversation around children. If you have children, um, or if you desire to have children, what role are those kids gonna play in your life? What role are children in general gonna play in your life? And how it is that you can bring more of a playful energy to what the two of you do as well. What needs to change to feel a sense of growth and happiness within that bond? All are gonna be up for consideration with answers that you like very much. If you're dating somebody, this is supreme energy. Uh, to be working very much in your favor if you're dating somebody, a feeling even closer to them, a feeling a deeper sense of intimacy with them as well. All of that becomes magnified under the sky. And those of you open to meeting somebody new, this is at the very least a flirtation that leaves a lasting impact. But it does look like you're having interactions, you're meeting people, and in the process, something within you is shifting, making you aware of what ultimately is gonna help you to move towards greater love. What I absolutely love about this month is that element of romance. Let yourself be carried away even if you know that that's what's happening and even if you feel like you may be feeling a little silly for allowing that to happen, do so with absolutely no regrets. The idealism is high and the hope is high. Nurture that. Life is filled with moments, as I've said. Life is filled with moments that can feel really serious, feel really hard, that when these moments come along that remind you that there's more to hope for, that there's more that's possible to you, nurture them for the promise of love that they provide. And you will find yourself moving in a direction towards greater love than you've known before.